Hi again. Uh, we still in algorithm window. Uh, you know, uh, we have a uh, open it window with uh, its type RGB uh, three to one, which containing one surface with uh, its three layer blue, green, red. Okay. So uh, if I want to uh, load more than one image inside this window okay so we have a uh, one window inside or one image inside one window so i want to uh, load more images uh, inside this window or inside this algorithm okay so for this purpose you just can add a new surface uh, by the way uh, when you add a new surface uh, it's by default pseudo color, okay? Pseudo color surface. And of course, containing a pseudo layer. So uh, you can uh, change uh, the type, change the type of the surface by just right clicking on it. So we have uh, added raster, a new or added new surface with no data set. You see, no data set, it's empty. So uh, to uh, loading data set, just uh, click on the load data set folder or icon okay and of course we should load uh, an image uh, just like that because it's just for a tutorial just like uh, this image or uh, this the same image we have Lancer TMU 1985.ERS so we're going to a uh, pseudo layer and click on load data set and you know uh, it's located in uh, shared data lansa tm year 1985.ers and click ok so we have now two surface and each one of them containing a data set okay so why we can't see the pseudo surface or the pseudo image we just uh, uh, see the uh, RGB the first one because it's locating at the first order uh, uh, there are uh, ways to uh, let you see the other surface the first one is change the order of these layer or of, of these surface for example I just selecting out uh, the RGB uh, surface and moving down so I change the order of this layer okay now this is a pseudo layer our uh, new surface uh, just let me uh, change the color table of it to a grayscale okay so uh, now we have a pseudo our uh, pseudo layer with rgb and just I can see one of them because uh, the, now the pseudo uh, layer uh, don't let me the, uh, see the RGB uh, color at the same time. But you have uh, another way to let you see the RGB. You can also turn off the first band or the first uh, surface, for example. I just turn it uh, off uh, the pseudo surface and now the RGB is uh, visible okay and if I now it's RGB so if I turn it off the RGB now I can see the pseudo layer and so on uh, also I want to add another surface okay and I can change it to the third type is hue saturation intensity. And you know when I changing the uh, when I change the uh, uh, pseudo layer to uh, HSI or hue saturation intensity, the pseudo layer was uh, there's a cross uh, uh, on the pseudo layer because pseudo layer is. Uh, not suitable or readable for uh, HSI surface so I should add uh, another surface okay so I will go to edit 
and add raster surface uh, or add raster layer and add view add view layer to HSI surface and also add another uh, layer is saturation and another one is intensity okay and and uh, let me delete this one because it's not necessary in this type of surface okay so we have three layers inside the HSI it's hue saturation intensity but all of them are empty have no data set so I should uh, load data set for each one of them for example I'll select this one because it's just like the others uh, okay and okay and okay and just you can apply uh, selecting uh, any one of them and applying uh, the uh, load data set just like that for example uh, apply and selecting the second one apply and the third one apply and then okay uh, so we have another surface name it hsi or hue saturation intensity or value and also i can just uh, see the r or the pseudo layer just like that okay to see the hsi surface i just uh, should to turn off the uh, ps surface so it's the uh, HSI surface because I uh, turn it uh, off uh, these uh, uh, two surfaces okay and if I uh, turn it on this one and this one and let the HSI uh, change the order of it Sorry. now uh, the, the shown image is for or showing surface is for HSI and I can see the, uh, the surfaces uh, below it so you have another way to let you uh, see uh, all of them at the same time uh, you should uh, go to surface tab, tab and you have transparency you know you should trans uh, change the transparency of the RGB because it uh, uh, or uh, the first one you should uh, uh, change the transparency you see transparency we uh, increase the uh, transparency of the uh, the HSI surface to let us show the other surfaces so if you if you notice you have a, a vision of the other surfaces okay and this rgb uh, we should also uh, change the transparency of it to let the uh, grayscale show so we have um, somewhat um, a vision of all uh, uh, our three surfaces by changing the transparency uh, of the surfaces um, actually uh you know uh, as i said before in yeah mapper we have a lot of shortcuts um uh, for example if i want to uh if i delete this layer and this layer and i should edit go to edit and add raster layer and add also uh, for example a deleted layer we have a saturation and intensity deleted I should uh, add a saturation surface and load a data set inside it to uh, make the HSI uh, you know uh, visible or uh, have a normal mode but we have another way you can just uh, selecting this and duplicate and uh, right click change raster type this is a code change raster type i will change the saturation layer to uh, intensity okay 
Now I'm changing it to intensity. Okay. So I can from this lens. Uh, okay. So now I have my surface with the this uh, lens. Okay. 